It's time! Wake up! People, it's Christmas time! Oh. Chuffed. Thanks, Santa! And mother. After quickly munching on some breakfast, it was straight back to the lounge room because it was haul time. Each of us would have our own space to showcase our neatly arranged presents. Not like we just watched each other open the presents beforehand, but uh. Anyway, I got these super cute animals. Ooh! Ooh. I think I may have mentioned this in a recent video, but I got my first ever iPod for Christmas one year. A purple iPod Nano to be exact. This gift was so hype because it was the first time iPods had cameras on the back. The quality sucked, but it was a breakthrough for its time, okay? My brother out of nowhere starts recording me with it. I had never been on camera before. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. So I started talking to it. It was super awkward and is a recurring joke in my family literally a decade later. Hey. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh! While we are on the topic of presents, I thought I was an absolute genius each year. I would hide tiny presents throughout the tree for the rest of my family to find, like a treasure hunt nobody signed up for. Nice. There were Gucci accessories, Rolex watches. It was always just candy. One year, I even hit a squishy poo keychain. And the weeks leading up to Christmas, I would just peg the life out of this mysterious wrapped object at my siblings. I am just a loving sister. Last call, y'all. The festive sausage and the fancy frog will be yeeted into history. So if you've been thinking of picking something up, then now is the time. Links are in the description below. There are just so many ways people celebrate Christmas across the world. The list would go on forever if I tried. Here in Australia, a lot of families celebrate with a barbecue. Shrimp on the barbie. You don't even call them shrimp. And a game of cricket. We've always kept our Christmas celebrations and meals simple. Some meats and salads. Because remember, it's the middle of summer here in Australia when Christmas rolls around. All I want to do is just wear an ugly Christmas sweater and not sweat ugly Christmas sweaty sweater. <laughs> I say we kept it simple, but somehow it would always go overboard. Like we would have food for weeks from this. Wait, the bonbons. We can't eat lunch without our stylish and way too tight party hats. <sighs> wow, I just love Christmas. All right, Christmas is over. Take your presents to your room. I'll start taking down the decorations. Then we can move on to the tree. Whoa, take a look at all the cards we got this year. Add those to the collection. What? It's only been a few days. We can't pack up everything yet. Too bad, so sad. This is your new home. By the look of your face, I can already tell you love it. I guess Christmas is over now. <laughs> uh, I'll see you all next year. That includes you, Mr. Disturbing Homemade Decoration. Sometimes I question why we have such a big tree. Oh, ooh, some Christmas food right now would slap like a slice of turkey. <laughs> and that's what would always get me through my annual destruction of my favorite holiday ever. Always the final piece of Christmas lingering long after the celebration subsided. I'm hungry. Looks like we finished off the Christmas food yesterday. Say what? Too bad, so sad. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Oh, uh, what? Christmas passed so quick. I can't believe it's over. What in the world was that? Well, on to the next thing. Cause baby, you're a firework. Yeah.